This steak is so good, I'm excited to announce that I'm taking wife applications. If you want this cooked for you, um, yeah, man, uh, be my wife. <laughs> good morning, good morning, good morning, y'all. Uh, welcome back to another episode of the Aldwin Vlogs. Today's video is kind of a big one. I'm not gonna lie. One, well, I mean, it's I mean, it's not that big, but like, it's 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 a, a pretty decent day. We got work for about three, four hours, and then after we have uh, leg day, and also we have. Uh, uh, <laughs> I am gonna be rewarding myself today, kind of like a reward after after a whole week of actually like genuinely grinding it, like grinding my ass off, you know what I mean? Just gonna reward myself with a steak. I'm gonna need to get some ingredients on my way home though. I will have to get a couple of things. And then also on top of that, I don't know when it started. Holy sh it started seven minutes ago. This isn't a WWE video. I'm not predicting anything, but uh, today is Bash in Berlin, uh, WWE. I guess I'll, I don't know, like a quick fire prediction all right i'm gonna say one and i'm gonna predict one undisputed wwe championship match for cody rhodes versus kevin owens uh cody's taking it wwe women's tag team championship match the unholy union versus bianca belair and jade cargill i believe mm, that one's one of the harder ones i think the whole bianca belair and jade cargill stuff um let's go with unholy union cm punk versus drew mcintyre i think punk's gonna take this one mixed tag team match damon priest and rhea ripley versus dominic and Liv morgan i think Mm. I think it's gonna be a screw up, so I think Dirty Dominic Mysterio and Liv Morgan are gonna take it. It's not gonna be a fair win, obviously. World Heavyweight Championship match: Gunther versus Randy Orton. I think Gunther's gonna take it, and it, yeah, that's pretty pretty much a given. So those are my predictions: Unholy Union, CM Punk, Dominic and Liv, Gunther, and then Cody. Those are my predictions. All right, I'm gonna go get ready now. <laughs> Alright ladies and gentlemen, we are here. Just got done with the gym, obviously, you just saw. Now it's 8.30 and uh, here we are, it's dinner time. I wanted to treat myself today, alright? I got time and I also got garlic. Uh, this was originally supposed to be at Walmart and then for some reason they didn't have any time, so they didn't have time for time. Damn. Yeah, unfortunately I didn't have time, so I had to go to cash I to go grab some. And I also got some mac and cheese. What is it for exactly? Uh, steak. Yep, we got steak right here, boys. Yes. All right, I had to switch lens real quick. I have a feeling, I have a feeling the other lens is gonna go weird, so. Yes, we have steak today, ladies and gentlemen. Kind of just a way to treat myself uh, this week, just because I feel like I worked for it, man. I feel like I uh, I definitely grinded for it. Every single day this week was definitely a just a go hard at the gym, you know what I mean? So I'd like to reward myself today, like I mentioned, with a nice, juicy, Stay. I'm not sure how unedited this video is gonna be or how edited this whole cooking part's gonna be, but we'll see. All right, bars. Uh, we got a nice ribeye steak. Oh, it's, yep, it's two of them. All right, before that, just gotta wash our hands. Washing your hands before cooking is one of the most integral parts of cooking. I don't know what you're doing if, you, if, you're, not, if you're not washing your hands before cooking. All right, the point is, let's see what the steak is talking about. This is from a butcher, I believe. I think this is from a butcher shop. I'm not sure if this is like a whole cow that we that we purchased. And for those of you that haven't cooked steak before, uh, I'll, I'll teach you guys just a thing or two about how to do it. All right, let's see what the steak's looking like. Bang. Ooh, okay. Okay. See what's happening gonna... Boom. All right, too fat. Nice, like I'd say about an inch and a half thick uh, meat. Um, this is what lifting is all about, ladies and gentlemen. Steak and weights. Steak and weights. There we go. Steak, steak and weights. All right, how do we season this? Pretty easy, boys. Here's the thing about seasoning steak, all right? A lot of people use marinating um, or just dry rubbing. It, there's a lot of ways to do it. I don't think there's a wrong way to do it, so do whatever you want. But I think for this specific one, since this is just going to be like a, like a pan-seared uh, steak, we're just going to go with something light. We'll go with salt and pepper. Leave it at that, all right? And by the way, uh, the thyme and also the garlic is going to be a, a really important part of this recipe. So with all these flavors running through the steak after, uh, after the cooking process, you know... All we need is salt and pepper. Just make sure you fill every every bit of the steak. Oh, here's sea salt. There we go. I think this one is iodized salt, so I'd rather do sea salt just because it's the most, you know, it's the most all natural. As I mentioned, this is kind of like a like a reward at the end of the week. Just 
you know, hustle. I think I should do this every week, to be honest. Like every Saturday, I just, you know, slam on a couple of steaks and, you know, go from there. You get all that sea salt in there. Yes, sir. Lots of sodium, boys. Lots of sodium. Make sure to drink a lot of water if you have a lot of sodium, right? And then now, pepper. By the way, boys, let's have a quick little talk, all right, about WWE. It's not going to be a long talk, so for those of you that aren't interested in WWE, don't, don't, you don't gotta skip. I'll just kind of go through those results of uh, everything that happened. I was right on a lot, or no, I was 50-50 on everything, I think. Gunther won fair and square, clean. I kind of knew that. Cody Rhodes won, which I knew, but everyone thought that Kevin Owens was going to betray. However, he did not, so that's a wrong prediction. Jade Cargill and uh, Bianca Belair actually won the title, so that's, I was wrong on that because I thought that they were going to go with a program, but I know eventually that'll be like a WrestleMania match. Judgment Nay versus the Tarot Twins? I, I don't even know what they call it. Rhea and Damien. Rhea and Damien won. I thought Judgment Nay was going to win it. Strap match, CM Punk versus Drew McIntyre. CM Punk won. And uh, they're going to have a trilogy eventually. But the thing is with WWE, I actually didn't watch like all of it completely because I was working. So I just kind of had like audio like playing and I wasn't really paying attention too much. So I'm going to, I think I'm going to rewatch it here sometime soon and kind of get a better idea of what happened you know but i got the general gist of it so that's all that matters point is boys let's get a pan this should be good will this fit both this yeah it'll fit both the steaks got a little that's that's actually a good <laughs> that's actually a lot of oil but it's all good got some oil in there so the idea is uh you know i'm gonna cook the steak and obviously oh actually before we even do that this will give us some time to talk a little bit before we do all the cooking and stuff i want to get this uh, peeled here really quickly because we're going to be using garlic so what we're going to be doing is uh let me let me let me let me talk to you i'm going to be using uh the basting technique so pretty much at the end of uh, the cooking process i'm going to be taking the heat down to low and uh we're going to be basting so we're going to put garlic butter and thyme uh, into into the mix and just kind of like toss the garlic thyme butter into the steak you know what i mean that's why all we really need to season this steak is just salt and pepper if you're following this like step by step by the way let me know how your steak ends up being all right i can't speak all right ladies and gentlemen uh off camera this feels like a sunday gameplay but I, either way off camera uh, i got everything ready actually i gotta get one more thing ready now we're completely ready so uh, i got everything ready like i said i got the garlic right here i also got the strainer over there good to go i got the time right here yes 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 and now we're we're ready to cook man this is uh it's pretty easy oh there's also a time oh perfect there's a little timer here so i can just kind of like you see this little timer so i could just uh uh, measure the time right so i got the mac and cheese right here boys so it's a steak and mac and cheese meal and uh you know what just for the hell of it just just because i can this is kind of what i do with mac and cheese anyway like the the ones with like the liquid cheese not the powdered ones but what are we feeling damn okay pan right here let's fire everything up so we're gonna put on high heat medium to high heat it's been a long time since i've uh, made like a like a meal like this the steak and mac and cheese um and i'm i'm quite excited to have it again it should start smoking up here soon but we're almost ready to roll here boys got a plate here ready just in case and now now we wait i'm <laughs> this is actually kind of funny i'm using one of these chairs to kind of like hold the little tripod so it kind of just swings like this. The reason why I'm doing this is because it's a perfect action cam for when I put the put the steak on there, you know what I'm saying? It should start smoking here soon. The cool thing is, um, not the cool thing, to be honest with you. I'm shirtless. I don't know if you could tell, but I'm shirtless. And uh, the fact that I'm cooking steak is probably not the better, not the best idea. I never said we make good decisions in the old one channel, all right? Here we go, boys. It's about to get loud in here. It's time to get, let's get loud. Let's get loud. You ever have those moments where you just break into a song? Mm. You know what? Yeah, that's, it's splashing. It's splashing more than Steph Curry. And start. There we go. About two and a half minutes each side, because this isn't like the thickest piece of like, you know, steak. And while we're waiting for the steak to cook, I know it's a case of like, Baldwin, if you can't take the heat, get out of the kitchen. Yeah, well, I want to cook and... Yeah, just waiting until everything cooks, you know what I mean? I have work tomorrow, so I should probably you know, eat and then go uh, go home as soon as possible. Back into the action cam. 
see that? Yes, sir. It's a cooking and, it, and it's loud. Let me tell you, it is loud. I'm probably gonna have to open a couple windows here just in case anything goes haywire. Let's not set off the alarms, all right? I know I could just turn on the fan, but, uh, well, actually, I should probably turn on the fan for now. And it's gonna be loud, ladies and gentlemen, but, you know, it oh, it's three minutes. Oh, shit. Bang! Bang! That's cat! We'll pop this in for two minutes, and then we're gonna, uh, we're gonna put it down to low heat, all right? And at the same time, mac and cheese into the pan. Or into the, yeah, your mouth. That's cash right there, boys. That's cash. Look at that steak. Yeah. That's our all-American beef, baby. No, like, no joke, though. That actually looks pretty good. <laughs> yeah, I kind of overcooked one side, unfortunately. I, I, I said two and a half minutes, but then it ended up being three and a half it's fine all right now we're gonna put it down to low heat it is quite smoky in here let's open more windows if this was the apartment uh this would this would not be good all right here we can honestly just turn this off to be honest i think that's i think that's pretty good the air in here it is uh very jesus christ now we're on to the basting process just dump a thing of butter in there now that things have calmed down a little bit the steak has survived the the battle we are now going to be dumping in some garlic some thyme a little bit more than that. It's not the most fresh time, but you know, it is what it is. See the steak right here? Yeah. All right, we're going to take one of the steaks out uh, just so I can kind of focus on one while I'm basting it. Looks really good, though. I'm not going to lie. So. so for those of you that don't really cook steak or just don't cook in general and you are interested in cooking steak, you see all the the thyme, the, the garlic, and then, you know, the butter, of course. That's a good base for basting. Basting is pretty much just doing that and, you know, using the butter juices to flavor the steak. Oh. Missed. It's fine. That backside looking really good. Yes, sir. We like the backside looking good. <laughs> My bad. And you just kind of repeat the process until, you know, until you got it all, like, completely seasoned or until you get impatient. Yes, sir. Now that one is cooked. Oh, my God. I'll show you guys once I'm done, like, basting and everything. But, Jesus, this is this is looking... This is looking schmexy. And then same thing with this one. You just kind of, you know... Hold on. Let me... Let me get you guys closer here. See all that garlic and thyme kind of swimming in there? That is what's seasoning the butter, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yeah. See that? Yep. And you know what? Since uh, I still got to do a couple more things before I'm ready to eat, we're going to put the steak in there. Just a quick little cheese test to, you know, for good measure. Yeah. Look at all that cheese. I should have made the hole bigger, but it's, it's all good. Now that the cheese is dumped in there, stir until it's all integrated within the... The, the the mac and all that flavor just enjoy itself and just enjoy yourself sorry <laughs> keep breaking into music break look at that put that all in the corner right there oh baby a triple jesus christ i am salivating if that brother had a few more inches don't god don't get me started <laughs> Don't get me salivate. It's one of the most A.O. moments in Stephen A. Smith's career. And I guess to add on top of the whole rewarding myself thing, uh, I got some sun kissed right here, all right? Here we are, mac and cheese and steak. This steak turned out better than I thought. And it like, oh, it's, oh, it feels soft. Let's try the mac and cheese. I already tried the cheese, but you know. Yep. That's the stuff right there. But now without further ado, steak. See how cooked this is? All right. <laughs> All right, maybe it's a little medium slash well done side, but you know what? I don't even care, man. Look at that. Could definitely be worse, all right? Could definitely be worse. Still got some juices. Still got some juices. <laughs> the cook level may have not been, like, the most ideal, but the flavor? You're gonna have to take my word for it. It's the best steak that I've made, period, period. Oh my god. Holy fuck. Every step that you saw in this video, please follow it, alright? The only step that you probably shouldn't do is, uh, overcook it by an extra minute. I have high confidence that if I didn't cook this an extra minute accidentally, this would be a perfect medium, medium rare, give or take. Besides that, follow every step, man. The steak, per perfection. The mac and cheese, perfection. May have almost burnt the house down, but... You know, that's besides the point. There's a little bit of pink right there on the, like, right next to the fat. Not much, but, you know. <laughs> the, all I know, man, all I know is the flavor. The flavor is 100% there. The steak is so good, I'm excited to announce that I'm taking wife applications. If you want this cooked for you, um, yeah, man, uh, be my wife. <laughs> Without wasting any more of you guys' time, I just want to close this video now. I think that's...
right. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, like I said, if you guys want to follow the recipe, feel free to do that. But just make sure to not overcook the steak, I guess. Even though it looked really good, it was a little bit overcooked. But that's besides the point. It still tasted perfection. I think I'm going to do this more where I'm just going to reward myself at the end of the week. Who knows? But either way, hope you guys enjoyed the video anyway. Love you guys as always. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right? Uh, mm, turn around. No, I got options. Begging me to go, but I tell her to stop it. Always got the key in my heart is to lock it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like a pro, but you're really a novice.